Soviet radar picked up the CIA's U-2 photo reconnaissance first overflight, so the CIA knew early on that we needed to fly higher and faster. Codename Oxcart, the A-12 was a true feat in aviation technology. Flying at 90,000 feet, which was 20,000 feet higher than its older brother, the U-2, and at speeds reaching Mach 3.29, the A-12 was destined to be the fastest plane in the sky. In the 1950s, the CIA partnered with Lockheed to create the A-12, and development required new technologies. Meeting the desired characteristics led to innovation in things like mechanics, materials, and engine technology. Even creating a plane that could withstand heat at Mach 3.29 was quite a challenge. The A-12 took its first flight at Area 51 on April 26, 1962, and in May, it broke the sound barrier flying at Mach 1.1. In May and August of 1965, it actually set speed and altitude records, flying at 90,000 feet and Mach 3.29. That's almost 2,500 miles per hour. Unfortunately, the CIA lost two pilots flying the A-12, both of whom are on our memorial wall here at CIA headquarters. The CIA and Lockheed built 15 A-12s, and three flew operationally over the southeast part of Asia during the Vietnam War. But by this point in history, CIA had a decision to make. Do we risk pilots being shot down as Soviet and enemy air defense systems improve, or do we move fully to photo reconnaissance satellites for our imagery? The Air Force's SR-71 Blackbird superseded the A-12, and in 1968, the CIA A-12 program ceased. The A-12's last mission was flying over North Korea after they seized the USS Pueblo in 1968. 